Tuesday, August 13th. I'm Paul Joseph Watson. This is InfoWars Nightly News. Tonight, a New Hampshire city wants to use a tank against libertarians. Then, Obama appoints a fox to investigate spying in the Hen House. And will stolen Libyan missiles be used to shoot down aircraft? All that and more coming up on the InfoWars Nightly News. Instantly assess these guys. These are probably ex-con, real criminals. I've got my three kids here. Uh, that gives me, you know, just turbo dinosaur power. Top story tonight, report. Michael Hastings was investigating CIA director John Brennan. This is a report from Infowars.com. Journalist Michael Hastings was investigating CIA direct, director John Brennan before his untimely death in a suspicious car accident. It has been revealed, with the report set to be published posthumously by Rolling Stone magazine within the next two weeks. Now, as you may recall, Infowars first reported from Hastings' close friend, Sergeant Joe Biggs, that the former Rolling Stone journalist was working on, quote, the biggest story yet about the CIA before his suspicious death. Now, according to San Diego Six's Kimberly Dvorak, the CIA acknowledged in an email to her that that was indeed the case, that Hastings was hot on the trail of John Brennan. And Dvorak claims that the magazine is set to publish this expose within the next two weeks. That's yet to be confirmed by the publication itself. I emailed them this morning, no response so far. But Brennan, of course, is Obama's former counterterrorism advisor who helped compile the drone program kill list uh, and was labeled in a 2012 Stratfor email hacked by WikiLeaks as being, quote, behind the witch hunts of investigative journalists learning information from inside the Beltway sources. So he's being cited as, as the key point man in harassing journalists who have sensitive information that they're going to publish. Very interesting in terms of Michael Hastings. So the big question is, was Hastings about to reveal that Brennan had been tasked with targeting independent reporters who were in the business of releasing sensitive information? That will unravel over the course of the next two weeks. There's also new analysis in this article by Dvorak, which cites a professor who analyzed the final moments of Hastings before the crash, of course, the surveillance video, which we've seen before. He suggests that Hastings was traveling at only 35 miles per hour before the multiple explosions that appear to be in the video. And that would explain, of course, why there's so little damage to the tree. And it would appear to bolster claims that uh, some kind of incendiary device could have been used to blow up the Mercedes if he was not speeding. The idea of it being a crash, being an accident, uh, begins to pale even more. But we'll continue to keep track of it. Now you can watch The Alex Jones Show live as it happens at Infowars.com slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. More than 60 movies and documentaries all in one place at infowars.com slash show.